Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Ghost Recon Wildlands Open Beta on the GeForce CTX 1060 for FPS my train. This time I won't be using cam due to easy anti-cheat, the anti-cheat software solution this game uses. So in the meantime I'll be using MSI Afterburner. So Ghost Recon Wildlands Open Beta, I'll do 1080p, 900p, 720p and 1440p with both an i7-4790 and an i3-6100. If you want to skip any of those sections of the video, check the description below. So first I'll show you 1080p with the i3-6100, targeting 60 frames per second, then I'll just crank up the settings to ultra and show you the frame rate. You'll see that when I target 60 frames per second I get drops below that and the GPU usage is low. The CPU doesn't allow the GPU to be used at its maximum capacity. That's why we're not getting 60s there. When you're moving fast through the map or you're in big city areas like this one, it happens. You can do so just fine with the i3 and the 1060. Just don't expect 60 frames per second at any resolution all the time, since that will mean some drops below 60 when you're in big areas or moving fast through the map. Then with the i7-4790, I tried 1080p, 1440p, 900p and 720p. I didn't try 900p or 720p on the i3 since the frame rate was already being limited on 1080p. So if I use 900p or 720p, it wouldn't make much of a difference at all. And then at 1440p, it was impossible to hit 60 frames per second all the time. So I targeted 30 with the highest possible settings without dropping below 30 frames per second. You cannot play at max settings 1080p 60 frames per second, but you can play it at over 30 with the maximum settings. And with some tweaking, with pretty much a mix between high and very high, you can get 60 frames per second just fine, like the system requirements said. One important thing, this game sometimes when you just flip the camera around behind you, for example, it drops the frame rate like 10 to 15 FPS, but then a couple seconds later it recovers. It might be loading some stuff in the background, that should be why. So in the options menu, what you should consider lowering, first is I mean occlusion, it's a big hit to the frame rate. SSBC looks good and doesn't kill the frame rate as much as HBO Plus, so I suggest you choose that one. Then draw distance, level of detail and vegetation quality. They don't affect the frame rate that much, but they use more CPU. The only one that I saw a bigger hit to the frame rate was on level of detail from very high to ultra. If you use ultra, it's a huge hit to the frame rate, but very high is like a 6 FPS boost compared to ultra. So I suggest lowering that and avoiding ultra on level of detail. The same with vegetation quality. If you keep it on ultra, it's a big hit to the frame rate, so lower it a little bit, it'll still look great. Then shadows we have off, medium, high, very high or ultra. That controls the resolution of the shadows and at which distance we start seeing lower resolution shadows. If you use medium for example, you still get shadows that look good. And in short ranges, they lose a lot of quality, so keep that in mind. If you use ultra, they are very high resolution shadows and they are visible on long distances. Then on the terrain quality, controls the complexity of the terrain using tessellation. So I suggest keeping this on medium or high, if you don't have anything over a GTX 1050 Ti. And it uses some VRAM too. Then one other thing that can kill performance in some areas is long range range shadows, which extends the draw distance of the shadows, for saying it some way. And god rays can also have a big hit to the frame rate, so keep that in mind. So I suggest you just turn it off, it's a good FPS boost and you won't really notice it that much while playing. And on textures, if you have a 2GB video card, just keep it on low, they look terrible, but <laughs> medium uses more than 2GB of VRAM. Unless you keep the rest on the lowest, there you can get away with that but I don't recommend it, it looks much worse. If you have a 4GB video card, for example a 1050 Ti or an RX 470, just keep it on ultra, the textures, ultra or high. If you keep it on ultra, you can get away with it easily. What I really like about this menu is that it shows you the differences between the options, so you can really know what you are changing. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and see you next time. That's a kill. Your LT is trying to run. Get to cover. Move.
boom, target down. Fucking hell! He's down. Fire, fire, fire. Hostile down. The lieutenant's trying to escape. Get ready. Fire. Roger. Taking a shot. Shit balls. Tango down. Frag out. Get some. That was messy as shit. Target carrying submachine guns. We're cool, we're cool. That's a kill. Damn, they did not like the sound of that. Frag out. Come in here to culeros.
signs of hostile presence. There's a Sicario over here, over by the soccer field. That's a kill. The right of the gun. Escaping. You're in trouble. Get down. Hostiles near the soccer field. Firing. Tango down. Good shooting. Ah, oh, hell. Well, there's always another chopper out there somewhere, right? Ready? Open fire. That's a kill. Frag out. From in here to Culeros. They come. What's the play, boss? Tango down.
Sniper. Sniper up in the tower. That's a kill. Sniper, top of the tower. history. We rattled somebody's cage. out. Yeah. 